What up, people? Kelly Burke, Caribbean Fitness. How at you again? All right, man. So, wanted to cover a really quick topic, and uh, that topic is is um, I guess it's a Q and A. But anyways, should tall guys train with short guys? All right. So somebody asked this question. All right. Here's the deal. Um, as you know, um, Raymond Walker and I are training partners. And uh, Raymond Walker is about five foot ten, or maybe five foot nine. We can say he's five foot ten, but anyways, he's got to be five nine because he stood next to Ronnie Coleman. And Ronnie's five foot ten. And he was taller than Raymond, so Raymond's five nine. All right, but anyways, so Raymond Walker and I are training partners, right? And I am six foot three. Um, Raymond and I really don't have any struggles with training with each other, um, besides squatting. And that's because I have to put the bar up higher than him. Uh, but a lot of times during our, when we start going over uh, two wheels and we go up three plates, uh, we just move the bar up. Um, instead of me getting under it and lifting it, um, I move up one side and he moves up the other side the same way Arnold Schwarzenegger did when he was uh, squatting in the movie Pump and Earn after he got done squatting with um, Eddie in the movie. If you watch the movie Pump and Earn, uh, then you'll see Arnold just move the bar up. He just went and moved one side at a time and moved it up, and then he began to do his squats. And so that's what we do. Um, I don't think you really have any issues with training with somebody that's shorter than you. Um, I just think the main thing is just finding somebody that trains um, as intense as you or um, with more intensity as you or stronger than you. You know, I mean, you just want to find somebody that, that equals you or, or is better than you in training. It doesn't matter about height, size, whatever. Um, you know, you just want to find somebody that meets and matches you or that person is trying to get to where you are, you know, in, in training and y'all, you know, excite each other and hype each other up. Um, so height has nothing to really uh, do with um, training with someone else. I mean, we find our, our, our other struggles as far as like incline, you know, bench if we're doing it on the Smith machine, I like to have the bench push back a little further. Raymond likes to move the bench, you know, um, closer in, you know, just because of our height differences. Um, but other than that, there are no issues, man. I mean, we're, he's a, a great training partner and, um, I mean, I'm training with guys that are taller than me. Um, if you remember big Rome on, uh, my uh, original videos of YouTube, big Rome was like six, four, he may have been six, three. He looked taller than me to me. Um, and you know, um, I've trained with, um, another buddy of mine, Brandon Thomas, who is about five ten, five eleven. Um, you know, I've trained with guys, um, you know, me and Chris Jones have trained together several times, and um, Chris is, I think, a little bit shorter than Raymond, and, you know, strength-wise, Chris is very strong, so, I mean, you know, we, we, we banged it out, and it, the height didn't have anything to do with it. I've been seeing shorter guys train with taller guys for years. As a matter of fact, if you know the pros, IFBB pros, Branch Warren and Johnny Jackson, those guys train with um, a bodybuilder named Matt Lear, and uh, Matt is at least my height or taller. He's at least 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, he's a monster, though. I mean, he's on probably every bit of 300 pounds. I mean, he's a beast. And, uh, I mean, they squat with him. I mean, that, that they get on the squat rack with him. Um, you know, the same thing, like I said, that whole Arnold concept. And, um, you know, they, I mean, they can do it. I mean, they train with this guy, and he's tall as I don't know what. You know, I mean, a guy his height with, or my height training with – um, guys that are five six to five eight, you know that that's a big height difference, and um, they do it, man. So, yeah, I really don't think you would pick a training partner but by somebody. This guy's as tall as me. I think we should train together. You know, I think that has nothing to do with it. I think you just want to find somebody that matches your pure grit um, and strength or somebody that you're trying to work up towards. That could be somebody that's already a successful bodybuilder or somebody that's you know, has a desired physique that you want or somebody that just is motivating and trains hard and you want to train with that person. That's how you pick a training partner. Not by height, skin color, or shape, size, whatever. Um, you just find somebody that is uh, that can uh, meet you and uh, 
um, you know, help you get to where your goals are. So, anyways, I know that's a, a pretty crazy question, but I uh, uh, just wanted to cover that. I think it was pretty cool. So, anyways, man, Kelly Burke, KRB Fitness. Remember to shop my tees at krbapparel.bigcartel.com. And um, I'll holler at you. Blah!